All right, Kelly, describe what a setting the bar story is. That's an example of what not to do or a situation we hope you don't find yourself in. Look, let Michael be a lesson to you. It doesn't matter how long you've worked for your company. If you decide to start using something other than a restroom to relieve yourself, you're getting fired. Or in Michael's case, even worse. Uh Uh-oh. So, if you can manage to make it through the day without peeing in the town's water supply, you're doing okay. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Get this. Michael is a longtime employee at a water treatment plant in Louisiana. He decided, uh, even though he's 57, uh, that he would use the water treatment facility to relieve himself like why though? going over a rail into a water tank below like did he stop to think that oh maybe this is like you know drinking supply water yeah no word on whether he was just being lazy and didn't want to walk to the bathroom or if he did it for another reason but so we don't know if this is malicious or we don't just know laziness. if okay. it's malicious or laziness or how long even he's been doing it but get this there are security cameras that he manipulated every time he would do it. So at least he knew he shouldn't. Right. Regardless of the motive, he knew it was bad. So I have a 25-second audio clip. What you're going to hear is him going to adjust the camera. And this is the, the point where he actually got caught doing it because he didn't adjust the camera up high enough because you could still see him on camera and you could hear what he was doing. Oh, boy. That's him adjusting the camera. And he walks over. And do you hear the water? Oh, gosh. That's him going over the edge. Okay. Yeah, so. All right. Um, police found out about it. And because oh, you could, he didn't adjust it enough one time, right? You could right, see him, right? And they're clearly like, "Oh, that's Michael." Okay, he's been and along- look what he's doing, right? Exactly. And so police found out about it. Now he's facing two counts of contaminating water supplies, two counts of criminal damage uh, to a critical infrastructure. Now uh, the water treatment plants, like, look, the water's still safe to drink. Uh huh. Are you believing that? They said, or are you sitting there freaking out that maybe you just drank pee water? Well, yeah. I mean, when you think about how many millions of gallons of water there are in, in the, you know, 20 ounces of urine that he's putting in there. Right. Still, and, though. But then still it goes though. through. It's a treatment it, it's plant. It's a treatment so plant. So it's getting right, clean. Right. And, and they said they took water samples. The public was never in danger, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But still. Still. That is a no-no. Still. Still. Yeah. That is a no-no. So, again, setting the bar. If you can manage to make it through the day without peeing in the town's water supply. Oh, boy. You're doing okay. Oh, boy. (laughs) That is setting the bar on 9970JX.